Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Gare here, and we're back with uh, another episode of our Q and A videos. Episode fifteen, I think. Yeah. So, anyways, jumping straight into the questions. The first ones come in a a little bit of a batch that we just wanted to talk about. So, from Catalin Tugui, they say, "Hi, I have a request. Do you think you can find the challenge reset glitch before Flashpoint Batman challenge expires? Hope you answer." Uh, Kanish. Yadav says, make a breakthrough reset glitch, please. Uh, Felipe says, challenge reset glitch. And Mastera, uh, with an exclamation mark after that, says, BDC Kara, did you find a new glitch? All right, so there's different layers to this answer. The first part is, um, we basically post a glitch as soon as we test it properly and we can confirm that it works and figure out what the dangers are yeah and especially importantly we can replicate it consistently enough that we can make a video on it so if you want to know about the glitch we're going to update we, we started doing this a few months ago that we're going to update every weekend we're going to include everything that we've got on glitches that is current and usable and practical yeah so if you want to just check out uh, we do that right now we're doing it pretty much every thursday or friday um and i guess stay subscribed if you want the second part of the answer is a little bit more nuanced. Um, we don't actually make glitches. I mean, despite what it might seem like, what we do is we find out about them, we exploit them, and what our value added part is we think we do a reasonable job of sort of breaking it down and explaining it clearly, yeah. but also figuring out what the limitations are, how it works, what the dangers are, what things to do, what things not to do. Yeah, so not only do we not make the glitches, uh, there there haven't even been that many times where we found the initial glitch. We have a couple times. Yeah, and we've we've found alternate kind of variations that are more efficient on what we found other people doing just from experimenting. Like Sony, when they did their uh, Walkman and yeah. their <laughs> DVD player. Like, we, we don't, we're not the, necessarily the innovators, but we definitely, we, we do a little bit of refining work. So, uh... What you can be confident is, if there is a glitch that is known about, we will uh, make a video on it uh, if if we think that it's a useful glitch to have, or if it's a glitch that's dangerous. We'll kind of uh, both sides of the coin, right? But you got to give us a little bit of time to maybe study it a little bit, yeah. experiment with so, it, to figure out uh, what to do. I, I guess the short answer is we don't make the glitches. We don't actually uh, have really any influence on the design of the game, and that's where the glitches actually come from. Yep. Uh, but we will tell you guys about it as they come up, and you you don't need to ask though. I guess you always can. Mm. Okay, there we go. So our next question also comes from Mastera, and then an exclamation mark, and they say Flashpoint Batman will be nerfed with that type of damage. All right, so maybe maybe not. I mean, the thing is, part of it is why he's so good is it's the power creep, right? And that seems intentional. Yeah. And the passive is behaving as it's described, although destructive blows, they don't define a percentage increase. So it's possible they could decrease the amount of critical damage boost. But um, counterpoint is, when you look at what they've done before, so let's say, for example, some of the previous nerfs, uh, Red Lantern, Hal Jordan, the what they added was time to recharge energy. They um, decreased his special two damage because when he first came out, it was actually exceeding the stated amount. Yeah. So those things, not a big surprise that they'll adjust it because he was really that overpowered. Like we're mm -hmm. talking like six second fights, right? Um, previous nerf of Regime Wonder Woman, they decreased the amount of her power gen. And the previous nerf of the League of Assassins gear set, and by extension, I guess the nerf of Antimatter Sinestro, yeah. is they fixed it to work as it was described. So it wasn't working. A lot of those nerfs, besides Regime Wonder Woman, they were not behaving the way they were supposed to, and they fixed it, so it did. Yeah. It, it felt like a nerf, but it was more a correction. Mm -hmm. So, in in my mind, I think it's less likely that they're going to nerf it as they're, they're going to actually introduce more options for negating crit damage besides uh, Red Sun teams with uh, Green Lantern and Arkham Knight Batman with the crit immunity mm -hmm. so there you go and our next question comes from Bishwa Abinov and they say great video guys I actually didn't get the thumbnail you guys used for this video is those some kind of coding things well I mean sometimes we we just like to amuse ourselves so uh, I just got Photoshop <laughs> and so um, 
we we wanted to think of a kind of cool thing that we could do for a thumbnail put maybe a little bit more effort into it than our normal paint stuff because we have the kind of we have powerful enough tools to actually back up a little bit of our ambitions mm -hmm. uh so you found the uh basic programming language image and then we grabbed a picture of batman and we just decided to right. run with that a little bit get it basic yeah. well that, that's basic language i mean as a child of the 80s um if you if you were anywhere there you would have seen a lot of basic programming yeah that was you know vic 20 commodore 64 so that's what we did yeah it's a little bit of a kind of a satiric reference it's not really like a a reference that people would necessarily understand just for having played injustice right. but we we just kind of did it because we felt so, like it you know we like to amuse ourselves and yeah that's why I mean, every once in a while, I'm really happy with some of the captions. Sometimes, you, you, when you're put churning out stuff every week, it's hard to do. But that's why I loved Arkham Team the Arkham Team. Did you see that? Did you get that? <laughs> see, that's an in-joke, because if you don't actually play the game, it's not funny at all. But if you do, I, I think it's actually... And this was an out-joke, because probably a lot of people who play this game don't don't know basic, I'd say. Most people wouldn't, wouldn't get looking at that screen that you were looking at something that was base, um, in basic. But... Yeah. But anyways, so that's what we were doing there. We're going to have a little bit more fun with our thumbnails in the future, maybe. And it would be cool if you guys let us know what you think of them. Okay, our next question comes from Mohammed Ragon Naguri. Or Nagauri? My pronunciation is never perfect on these things. Yeah, you know what? Listen, if you hear your name butchered, you should let us know in the comments. And As we... long as it's nice, be, be <laughs> kind to me. We'll try to get it better. We can't always promise. Our, our attention span is short. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, they say, looking at Blackest Knight Superman's passive, they're trying to make Blackest Knight team overpowered. It's easy to defeat them, but that unblocked special is scary due to Blackest Knight Bat's passive. Even Suicide Squad Deadshot gives unblocked chance, but it's easy to control the situation, given the fact that we know when it's going to be unblockable. All of this will make Blackest Knight teams very popular in defensive team strategy. The only problem, I think, will be which characters to use to make it the best Blackest Knight team, and how to gear them. Wanted to know which three characters do you think make the best Blackest Knight team? Arkham Team, Arkham Knight or Arkham Origins, Suicide Squad Team, and Red Sun Team. Alright, so we're going to wait on uh, Blackest Knight Superman to show up before committing to Blackest Knight answer, because a lot of times, y you might think certain things based on theory, based on what their stats and based on their passive. Yeah, but you really kind of need to see how it plays out. Yeah. A lot of what makes a team good or bad is the meta and how other people pick to uh, adapt to them. Right. Right? Which is exactly why Ares isn't great anymore because there's so many special evaders. Although Ares is pretty good again. Why well, Ares gonna... isn't as good anymore, yeah, yeah, I should yeah, say. Right. Yeah. Alright, so um, Arkham Team has too many options that are all really good, so the only one I think that has to be there is Arkham Knight Batman. Um, Suicide Squad. Harley Quinn must be there. She's a great basic damage dealer. And if you're doing defense, absolutely you have to have Deadshot, right? For the unblockable special ones. On offense, you probably want Deadshot anyways for his high stats. And because yeah. the two Jokers have a lousy, lousy uh, swipe combo. I, is it two hits, I think? That's Which pretty sucks. crappy. Yeah. Um, so it's a bit of a toss-up between the two Jokers. Um, so the easiest one to answer that has a real answer is which is the best Red Sun team. Yeah. And... I mean, actually, I, I, I should probably not diss him, but I, I hate Red Sun Deathstroke. Oh. Because um, he's so slow. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> that's He's not slow. He's His passive gives him a boost of 5%, which, as far as speed boosts go, is tiny per Red Sun. Like, 15%. You can get that from a single Regime Flash. And it it's the speed, to me, isn't enough to make up, to, to actually give me much of an advantage. So that's yeah. my personal preference. Um, so you have to have Red Sun Green Lantern. Negating crit chance is the the single most important advantage to having a fight. Yeah. And you, that's only when you have a full red sun team. Not when you're mixing yeah. and matching, but when everybody's red sun, non-negotiable. Yeah. I mean, do you remember when um, augmentations first came out and we immediately said that crit damage and crit chance were the most important? We said that over and over again. Yeah. And I think everyone has pretty much come around to that way of thinking. Yeah. At least for any, any place that doesn't scale, which is really when we talk about playing injustice most of the fun and staying power is in the online so yeah i like that black adam you just drop him in let him take the special because that's where his advantage lies right yeah anyway, sorry um what was i saying oh um so when everybody's got crit damage and crit 
uh, chance boosted, yeah. then you, negating it is huge. Yeah. All right, so Wonder Woman for power generate uh, power gen advantage is also a must. When you remove the other team's crit, fights are going to be longer. So her passive becomes way more important than longer fights because she's just generating so much more power. Yeah. You know, if you're still talking about, like, 10-second fights, power gen matters very little. Mm-hmm. When you're talking about, like, a couple minutes, oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, in defense, I like Batman. His unblocked special ones for himself and his teammates is deadly, and that has good synergy with Wonder Woman's power gen, and the AI is using way more special ones as opposed to special twos, right? They just do. Yeah. So that, that does give you a huge advantage. And in offense, I really like Superman. He's not as useful on defense since the AI does a lousy job of deciding when to tag in and tag out, you know, to use your special guy, to use a tank. But on offense, you need to have a basic damage dealer. And mm-hmm. not only is he a good juggler, um, but his passive gives an extra 75% boost on a full Red Sun team for yeah. basics. And you know we always love getting like fights done quick so essentially having like a, a basic damage gear extra yep. worth on everybody is pretty great wow he's totally juggling me I, i'm not i'm not able to block i'm not able to do anything tag out was the only option i had nice but he's gonna hit you with a special and hopefully kill himself right oh never mind yeah not enough multi see, this is where multi-hit special one is actually good for him right yeah because he's uh three would be good uh See that? Flat, elsewhere flash. I'd already tagged him. He's been flashing the whole time. Yeah. Didn't tag in. In I between no... uh, a swipe combo, yeah. Yeah. And he still took... Yeah, oh, and I he's got that. defense. Yeah, I know. And we're down to our last two guys. So That's I got to heal. Em. Really, elsewhere flash has to do a bunch of healing. I don't even care if it hits because his passive is already um, engaged. I need to just get more health. Although, you know what? Now that uh, Green Lantern actually has the highest damage on this team, I'm going to bring in Green Lantern. Use a few special ones. Should do a decent amount of damage. He's got more... He's got more damage. He's got 30,000. I think the other two guys only have 29. Right in the crotch. Ooh. He was doing the split set as well. Couldn't help it. Um, Yikes. Right, more health. Let's end this. This is a little closer than it should have been. I guess I'm, I'm switching around to the Raging Black Adam because it's fun to just eat a special just for the heck of it. But um, I still think Containment Suit Doomsday is probably still the best yeah. as, as our third guy. There's the Resurrect. Crap. That's okay. I mean, he's the right person there. A tank is in there, which is exactly the right thing you want, right? Yeah. Which is exactly what the AI cannot do. Yeah, when when you're playing, uh, when you're putting somebody in defense, it makes a lot more sense to have more of kind of like a jack of all trades type characters than it is to have specific roles. Yeah. Because they're not going to actually be able to fulfill the specific roles, especially with tank. Right. Right. Exactly. Special specialists and basic damage dealer, they do that already. Just. Right. Just by accident. So yeah, well-rounded guys or somebody who's just going to unbalance a fight like Lucia Rabin with yeah. Uh, Specials loadout. Well, rounded guys. I guess special one specialist. Really, yeah. mostly. You don't really care about the other specials the same way. Unless you have kind of crazy power gen or... There we go. Oof. Yeah. Ooh. No stun. Thank... Thank... Thankfully, small mercies. Oh, there you go. So that was uh, a little bit more exciting than it needed to be. <laughs> Very, uh... Longer fight, but still, that was actually fun. We never really felt like we were outmatched. Totally screwed, yeah. So anyways, uh, should we do Oh, is there another fight? Battle, yeah, or... why not? Okay. Bonus footage. Nice. Just a little bit of extra for for all you... And th- that those are... We're looking at five full 5,000 battle point matches. All right, so that's not a great loadout. Uh, but uh, also clearly not using all of his gear. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Wally West flashes is interesting because of the chance of um, getting sort of uh, bounce back from when you do specials, but that's why it's so important to have a basic damage dealer. And having yeah. a good basic damage dealer makes a bigger difference than anything else. Like, if you're missing that, you can't really have a, a, a great team, like a really great fast team. Uh, I 
fuck all our energy. Oh no. Alright, so now what I want to do is not trigger the passive. If I can get a bit of health back. There we go. Perfect. Alright, give her a bar. Hit her up to bar and then tag and black at him. Alright. We'll give him a bit of health first. There we go. And Black Adam's ready to come in, eat the special, or if she actually survives, she doesn't have much health left. Oh, nice! Perfect. Eat his special. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, so he didn't. Uh, his passive did not engage. Oh, and didn't engage again. He's the last guy anyway. So when you've got that kind of an advantage, it's easy to. Ooh, right in the crotch. That one's on purpose. For the other <laughs> ones, it's it's how you organize it. But for that one, all right, that's it. There we go. So that was the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda.